Hi Maker, I'm Angel with FleeceOne.com and today I'm going to show you how to make Christmas stockings. I have different types that you can make. I have this cute patchwork type that's more of traditional. I have this cute type that's kind of whimsical with its curly toe. I have kind the kinds that aren't patchwork. It's just one solid piece. You can see some behind me over here and I'll show you a couple of other pictures. These stockings are great and they come in two sizes. The size I'm showing you is the smaller size but there's a larger size as well. Wanted to give you options because I don't know about you, sometimes stocking stuffers are tough and just make a smaller stocking. My little hack for you there. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about stocking stuffers as much. In any case, I'm gonna show you how to make these. Let's get started with the things that you'll need. To make the Christmas stocking, you will need two thirds of a yard of cotton for a large or a third of a yard for a small, fourth of a yard of cotton for the cuff and patchwork. And of course you can mix and match those fabrics thread, light iron on interfacing, and this is a must to keep toes from being floppy, sewing essentials, and FleeceFun's free PDF pattern that's available on FleeceFun.com by filling out the form. All right, now that you have all these items, we're gonna get started with cutting out the pattern. But just something I want you to think about, what I kind of love about this pattern and the different variations is that there are so many different kind of um, uh, fabrics at Christmas and they have all these wonderful collections and it's a great way to mix and match a bunch of fabrics within a collection. How to make a Christmas stocking free pattern template instructions. Step one, assemble and cut out the free pattern. Decide on what size of stocking you're making. You can make the large, the 17 inch size or the small, which is 12 inches in size once it is completed. From there, you'll need to decide on what style of Christmas stocking you're going to make. The standard patchwork style needs a toe, heel, body, and cuff. It also needs the toe and heel interfacing pattern pieces. The curly toe, or elf, patchwork style stocking needs the curly toe, heel, body, and pointed cuff. It also needs the curly toe and heel interfacing pattern pieces. The standard style of stocking needs the body and cuff. It also, of course, will need those heel and toe interfacing pieces. The curly toe or elf style stocking needs the body and pointed cuff. It also needs the curly toe and heel interfacing pattern pieces. All Christmas stockings, no matter what style, need a hanger and a lining. The lining is the same for all four styles of stocking. It would take 20 minutes if I showed you cutting out every single piece of this pattern because there's a lot of pieces. So I'm just kind of giving you a general idea. Now, the cutting out process is the same on folded fabric. You cut out these items in the amounts that I tell you. Step two, cut out the Christmas stocking. Part of the fun with this pattern is that you can really mix patterns from a fabric collection on the stocking. Take some time to plan it out if you're making several. Cut out the items on folded fabric so you get a mirror image. When cutting out the interfacing, make sure you cut out a mirror of the shape by cutting on doubled interfacing or flipping the pattern over. For the standard patchwork stocking, you will need to cut out the following from cotton. Two toe pieces, two heel pieces, four cuff pieces, two main body pieces, two lining pieces, and one hanger piece. From the fusible interfacing, you'll need to cut out two toe pieces and two heel pieces. For the elf or curly toe patchwork stocking, you'll need to cut out the following from cotton two curly toe pieces, two heel pieces, four pointed cuff pieces, two main body pieces, two lining pieces, and one hanger piece. From the fusible interfacing, you'll need to cut out two curly toe pieces and two heel pieces. From the traditional or standard stocking, you'll need to cut out the following from cotton. Four cuff pieces, two main body pieces, two lining pieces, and one hanger piece. From the fusible interfacing, you'll need to cut out two toe pieces and two heel pieces. For the elf or curly toed stocking, you'll need to cut out the following from cotton. Four pointed cuff pieces, two main body pieces, two lining pieces, and one hanger piece. From the fusible interfacing, you'll need to cut out two curly toe pieces and two heel pieces. Oh, now that that's all cut out, it's time to prep the pieces. All right, now that we have all those pieces cut out, for whatever version of stocking that you're going to make, it's time to iron on that really important interfacing. Step three, add the fusible interfacing. 
Now, I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, ah, oh, interfacing, I don't have any. I'm gonna skip it. You can't really skip it because it helps the stocking hang. And especially on this curly toe guy, you don't want floppy toe. No one likes floppy toes. It will flop if you don't have that interfacing in there. So it is key, especially for this one. And honestly, even with the standard stocking, it just helps it um, hang better and keeps that beautiful line. So please don't skip that step. Put on the interfacing, please. For the traditional patchwork stocking, that's the standard stocking, iron on the interfacing to each of the toes and heels. Center it so there is approximately a quarter of an inch all the way around. For the curly toe patchwork stocking, or elf stocking, iron on the interfacing to each of the toes and heels. Center it again so there is a quarter of an inch all the way around. For the traditional Christmas stocking, the standard stocking, iron on the interfacing to the toes and heels of the stocking body. Place it so there's approximately a quarter of an inch from the edge. For the elf Christmas stocking, the curly toed stocking, iron on the interfacing to the toes and heels of the stocking and place it so it is approximately a quarter of an inch from the edge. Great, now that all that interfacing is ironed on, it's time to start putting together the patchwork. Step four, assemble the patchwork Christmas stockings. We'll start with the traditional patchwork stocking. If you are new to sewing or haven't sewn in a while, these seams can appear intimidating. I'll walk you through it. They can and do sew together. I'll show you how. Pinning is key. Now, if you are not familiar with sewing on curves or you're kind of um, a beginning sewist, it's going to look weird because you're like, wait, this one curve's going this way and the other curve's going the other way. How are these two supposed to go together? I promise you they do go together and this is the beautiful thing about sewing in fabric is that fabric, you know, moves, it bends and so you've got some wiggle room here. So I promise you they do fit together. You need to take your time and pin it nicely. With right sides together, pin together at the start of the seam. Then pin the end of the seam together. I'm flipping the stocking over so you can see the fabric on the other side. The fabric bends and has wiggle room. Pull the fabric so it meets the edge of the heel piece. Pin in the center. From here, it's easy to pin the rest into place. With something like this, it's a good idea to use several pins. Sew the heel on using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Repeat that same pinning process with the toe. Again, sew into place using a quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat this process with the other half of the stocking. All right, now in order for those sections not to look bunched or look odd, we need to clip the curve so it allows it to spread a little bit so that curve looks really nice. Once both the heel and toe are sewn on, clip the curves of the fabric. Be careful not to snip through the seam so the fabric doesn't tug on the seams and they lay nicely. Do this to both halves of the stocking. For the curly toed or elf patchwork stocking, the process is the same. With right sides together, pin and then sew on the heel using a quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat that same pinning process with the toe. Sew into place using a quarter inch seam allowance. Again, repeat this entire process on the other half, the mirrored side of the stocking. Like the traditional patchwork stocking, once both the heel and toe are sewn on to the curly toed stocking, clip the curves of the fabric. Be careful again not to snip through your seam so the fabric doesn't tug the seams and they lay nicely. Do this to both halves. Hey, I know we're partway through the tutorial, but could you please do me a favor and hit that like button? And you know, while you're clicking, why not hit the subscribe button too? I am a one woman band. I am my own crew. <laughs> Here, and you're hitting that like button does a lot for my YouTube channel and it's just a quick click for you. Step five, 
Sew the body of the stocking. No matter what style of stocking you're making, you need a lining for the Christmas stocking. With the right sides together, sew the Christmas stocking lining together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Set aside. For each stocking, you'll want a hanger. Fold over lengthwise so right sides are touching. Sew together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the hanger right side out. Set the hanger aside. With the patchwork pieces sewn on, the traditional patchwork and the standard shapes are the same. With the right sides together, sew together using a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving the top open. With the patchwork pieces sewn on, the curly toe patchwork and the regular curly toe shapes, again, they're the same. With the right sides together, sew together using a quarter inch seam allowance, leaving the top open. Now, one tip I'm going to give you, especially since you're dealing with curves, especially around, you know, the curly toe or the heel, no matter what kind of curve you're sewing, it's all right to take your time. This is not a race. You're not gonna get a medal for finishing first in this, okay? It's very important that it is sewn correctly then quickly. So when it comes to sewing curves, if you're having a hard time getting the fabric to move under the needle, if you're new and you're just not familiar with manipulating the fabric, one trick that's really easy if you're worried if you're kind of getting off track with that curve is you put the needle down, you leave it down in the fabric, you lift up the foot, adjust the fabric as you need, and put the foot back down and continue to sew. And you can do that as needed while you're sewing. So again, if you're coming to kind of a tight spot, like in the future when we're doing this, it's all right to put the needle in the fabric, lift up, switch it a bit, and continue to sew. Use the interfacing as a guide, especially for the point. Clip the curves and point so the fabric doesn't bunch when turned. Again, since at this point the shape is the same if it's patchwork or not, the process is exactly the same. Turn right side out and set aside. Now, the standard topper, it's pretty straightforward. This one is a little trickier and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips as we go. Step six, sew the cuff of the stocking. For the standard or traditional style of stocking, both regular and patchwork, this is the cuff that you'll make. With right sides together, sew the sides of each with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn one cuff right side out. Put the right side out cuff inside the other so right sides are touching. Line up the seams on each side. Pin along the bottom ring and sew the two together using a quarter inch seam allowance, forming a tunnel. Turn right side out. Stuff the cuff you want to be the interior inside the other cuff. Set aside. For the curly toe or elf style stocking, both regular and patchwork. With the right sides together, sew the sides of each pointed cuff using a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn one cuff right side out. Put the right side out cuff into the other so right sides are touching. Line up the seams on each side and the points. 
pin along the bottom and sew the two together using a quarter inch seam allowance forming a tunnel. All right, now we are going to sew these guys and it's a little bit tricky. So what you wanna do is you wanna be mined up here and mined here because you're gonna be pivoting on that. And again, that trick of leaving the needle in the fabric, lifting up the foot and turning the fabric, you're going to have to do that on these points. One thing to make sure that you get that nice crisp point is you need to snip the ends of it and you need to make sure you snip a slit at the tops of these points, not through your seam, but just to it so it will lay nicely and it'll look like this. Snip a slit at the point tops and clip the points so they can be sharp when turned. Turn right side out using a tool to make sure the points are fully turned. Have the side that you want facing out on the Christmas stocking turned out towards you. Okay, now that we have those toppers done, pretty much from here on out, it is the same no matter what version of stocking you are making. Step seven, finish making the how to make a Christmas stocking. From here on out, assembly is the same no matter what stocking you are making. You'll need the completed pieces of the lining, main stocking body, cuff, and hanger. Take the lining, it should still be turned inside out, right sides touching, and place into the stocking. So wrong sides are touching. Take the hanger and fold it in half. Place it at the seam over the heel and pin. Take the cuff and have it turned how you want it to look when it is finished. Place the cuff inside the stocking lining, making sure the seams are together. Place the cuff inside the stocking lining. Line up the seams at the unsewn edges with the top. Pin. From the inside out, it should be cuff, then hanger, then lining, then main stocking body. Sew around the top using a quarter inch seam allowance. Flip the cuff out, hiding the seam. Pull out the hanger and you just made a Christmas stocking. And that's it, you have this great little stocking. No matter what version you made, I've got this one or this one, or you just make the plain, more simple one. Whatever one you want works for you. You can make it in the larger size if you like a big old stocking, completely up to you. And I love the fact that you can mix and match fabrics, which is really, really fun. And um, it's just a fun Christmas thing to have. And it's really nice to have stockings that you've made hanging up, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. If you like this Christmas tutorial, I have several more holiday tutorials here on my YouTube channel. Also on my website, fleecefun.com. Check it out there. And uh, let me know in the comments below the most favorite thing you've ever gotten in your stocking.